Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. It is me, Mr. Hubner, with our Minute for Grammar. Uh, last time we were together, we talked about modal auxiliary, uh, modal auxiliary verbs. That's a tough one to say, especially when you've been teaching all day and it's 3.30 in the afternoon and you've been going strong since nine o'clock in the morning. Modal auxiliary verbs, also known as helping verbs. And we said that we kind of made that like distinction, the difference between linking verbs and helping verbs, uh, sometimes they get bunched up together, but a modal auxiliary verb helps to set the mood, like saying can, could, should, would. It gives like some sort of like, <clears throat> some sort of push emphasis. Well, today we're going to talk about another type of word that the job that it plays within a sentence is also to modify, to add a little extra flair, extra flavor, and that is an adjective. And an adjective is a part of speech that describes or modifies a noun. And that's important uh, because in order for something to be considered an adjective, it is going to modify a noun, not a verb, not a something, or it could be another adjective, but everything is going to point back to the point back to the noun. And it could be, there could be 17 different nouns in a sentence. And you can have adjectives that modify and describe each one of those nouns. And the way that we pick those out, the way that we figure out which ones are being used is that it tells us how something looks, how something feels, how something tastes, smells, sounds. What do these sound like? Things that appeal to the five senses. Most adjectives, like there's, it's English, so there's always exceptions to things, but most adjectives are going to be something that has to do with the five senses, like sight, color, rough, uh, mm, buttery. Somebody in my house just made popcorn. So I'm sitting here smelling the buttery popcorn. So something that helps to modify or describe the noun. In this sense, it was popcorn, but that word buttery helps to describe how it sounds or eventually like if I get a chance to eat it how it will taste. So an adjective, so an adjective is a part of speech and this is what this whole like set of lessons is about is the different parts of speech, the different jobs that words play in a sentence and an adjective's job is to describe or modify a noun. So let's look at a couple of sentences. So I have, the fuzzy chick chirped in the nest. I touched the rough sandpaper. I sipped the bitter coffee. The smoky aroma drifted from the grill. Her shrill voice startled the kids. So I look at these five different sentences and I'm going, in order to pick out the adjective, I need to find the noun. So, I see in this one, I've got the fuzzy chick chirped in the nest. I've got chick as my nouns and nest. And I see that the word fuzzy popped up as being uh, highlighted. That's because the word fuzzy is helping to describe the chick. What kind of a chick? The fuzzy chick or the yellow chick, or the small chick, or the noisy chick. What did the chick do? It chirped in the nest. So we don't have anything that's really modifying nest, but we do have a word that is modifying or describing the chick. What kind of a chick is it? A fuzzy chick. And that's fuzzy something that you can see, something that you could, if you got close enough, you could touch and you could feel the little chicky and it's all nice and soft and fuzzy. So I touched the rough sandpaper. I look in this sentence, I've got the noun of I and the sandpaper. Well, in this sentence, I also have something that talks about how something feels. What kind of sandpaper is it? 
the rough sandpaper that apply that goes towards my sense of touch. And it is modifying sandpaper. I sipped the bitter coffee. What kind of coffee is it? The bitter coffee. A smell, the smoky aroma drifted from the grill. The aroma is something that you can smell. It's something that the little, little particles are going throughout the air and they enter your nose and are picked up by in your nasal passages by the olfactory receptors taken back into your brain and uh, processed as a smell. What kind of an aroma? A smoky aroma, like mm, coming from the grill, most likely it is some sort of delicious, delicious meat that is being cooked. And then they could also appeal to sounds. Her shrill voice startled the kids. Well, what was it that startled? What was it that did the startling? Her voice did. But how is her voice described? It's shrill, meaning that it's like high pitched. And if you hear it, you just kind of want to make this face. So adjectives describe or modify or kind of add emphasis to nouns. What they do for us is they help to take our sentences and like add layers to them. Like I could have just said the chick chirped in the nest, but I wanted you to know that that little chick was fuzzy so that you can start painting a picture in your mind or the rough sandpaper. I think of things before that I've touched that are rough. So in my mind, I'm starting to imagine what that sandpaper felt like or the smooth sandpaper or the gray sandpaper or the orange sandpaper. All of these adjectives modify, describe, or kind of add layers to the noun. Let's do a couple more. So adjectives can tell us, they can appeal to our senses, but they can also tell us what kind. So if I have a sentence, I ate Persian food for dinner. The glass face shattered. We saw the marble statue. He likes to read fantasy books. Now, if I look at, we are listening to classical music. So if I look in this first sentence, I ate Persian food for dinner. That doesn't really immediately go towards a taste because maybe if you have eaten Persian food before, you can start thinking about the flavors that are in Persian food, or I ate Mexican food for dinner, or I ate Italian food for dinner, or I ate one of my personal favorites, Korean food. Bulgogi. Mm. So it tells us, it can describe, it can modify, but it also tells us what kind. What vase shattered? The glass vase. What kind of a statue did we see? Saw the marble statue. He likes to read what kind of books? Fantasy books, which I do too, as well as science fiction. We are listening to what kind of music? Classical music, because it's good for your brain. So adjectives describe a noun. They give, they help to appeal to your senses of sight, sound, uh, touch, taste, smell and the sense of hiccups, but they also tell us what kind, what kind of a noun, what kind of food, Persian food, what kind of a, gla a vase, a glass vase. So that is it for this quick wrap up lesson. None of this should be stuff that you have never seen before, but just in case, if you have never heard of an adjective before, then please, Come find me, describe your situation, say, Mr. Hubner, I have never seen a beautiful adjective before, or Mr. Hubner, I have never seen a confusing adjective, or Mr. Hubner, you have the coolest glasses. Mr. Hubner, you smell wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. All right, have a wonderful rest of your day, and look out for your assignment, which will be coming up very, very soon.